Hi there, my name's Dakota. I'm with Northern Knives, and we're here to go over the new Malibu from ProTech. Let's get into it. Let's get started. You know, after my energy, we're going to do that. <laughs> oh, a box. Oh, man. And a little sleevey. So what makes the Malibu so special that's made it so hot? 20 C fucking V, and which that. is a first. And uh, so I don't, I can't believe that that's not ball bearing. I, we should have taken this apart. I did not, I'm ill prepared for this, but it may, 20, oh, it, it totally is. It is? Okay. It is. Okay. So 20 C V is a, it's, this is new for project. There were 154 CM and D2 only. Their heat treat though is the shit. Their heat treat is very good. Their D2 heat treat is, is, is some of the best I've seen. But, uh, so, button lock, which is a very, very strong lockup. And 20 CV, which is new for them. It's also a Aluminum flipper handles. and not an auto. Flipper, not an auto. Uh, popular blade shape, Warncliffe and or sheep's foot. Mm-hmm. Warncliffe? Uh, reverse Tonto, sheep's foot, Warncliffe. Yeah, yeah, Revo I'm gonna go with two options. Best. Okay. So I don't know what, uh, Ram's foot. But, <laughs> Anyway, so we brought, in, instead of bringing like seven knives down like we normally do, we just brought the um, uh, the ZT470, 0470, because it's 20 CV and it's flipper and it's a right about the same size. Um, we actually... And a similar price point. This is... 199. 199 and this is 240. We so this struggle. is a little much, but eh, carbon fiber inlay, eh, but... I think we, uh, I was up there helping you guys pick out some sort of comparison knife and we, we struggled. struggled because at that price range with those specs and the shape and what you're getting it was fucking hard it was it was very to difficult find something comparable we kind of gave up uh we kind of gave up because if you if you if you, so it depends on what you want to compare it to like if you want to compare it to something that's uh similar size with aluminum handles uh it was basically only autos and if you wanted to compare it to a button lock, it basically came down to William Henry's, which are twice the price. So it came down to basically we're going to compare it to this because it's in uh, the same price range, same kind of materials. But it's but it's I'm just excuse. but it's murdering on sales wise because they just hit a niche that nobody's really hitting. That that really strong ass lock and the aluminum handles and the 20 CV. Uh, I think this is very, very impressive from a company that I have liked for a long time, and I really like to see them coming out with something that just something just new. crushes it. Yeah. Well, and so they make it in the two different blade styles. They also offer it in a black or blue aluminum handle, mm -hmm. and they offer a fancier version in like a machine titanium, which we've had in. And they were I think they were shy of five hundred. Don't quote me on that. I know they're somewhere in that range, mm -hmm. um, but we ordered as many as we could, and they were gone in a day and a half. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Malibu's, they went so fast. We we tried to do this video two times before, but just could not keep these in stock. No matter how many we could get, no matter how many we could order, they just sold so fast this that so nice. we couldn't do it. I know. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I really don't either. It's ergonomic. I like that it's devoid, except they put their little tiny logo right there, but otherwise it's completely it's devoid ster of marks. No, it's, it's very much a protective. Yeah, it's it's very it's it, I mean it's it's almost sterile. They don't have until to you say close who it. They are. I mean it's no. God, this is just so nice. Like I was doing this earlier when we were off camera, so I, I, so I can't do it with that one, but I can do it with this one. So, but this, you just push the button and it just closes. <laughs> like that's so clean. That's so nice. And I like the design. I like the size. It's great for carry. I do, I do have one complaint. Clip. clip. Yep, that's the only uh, thing. So I want this. So um, in a couple of days, uh, their new inventory list is going to come out. And yep. I told Lori, because Lori set an alarm, because we're in Alaska. We have to get up early to get shit. And she's like, I'm going to get it. And I was like, I really need one. Well, and so, then I was like, eh, can I move the clip? So but I, I mean... They do a lot of autos, and the on their autos, like the buttons on the one side, and you, you, yeah. you don't really flip them. I mean, on the yeah, yeah, exactly. So I haven't paid exactly. that much attention to if 
a lot of their autos have a reversible because like our mm -hmm. TR3, you can't put the clip. Yeah, you can't reverse that either. So a lot of their, a lot of their stuff is like that. And I thought, well, okay, that's no problem. I mean, it's aluminum. I can drill it, tap it, and move it to the other side. It's but it's inlaid. A, it, but it's an inlaid clip, yes. which is a nice touch, and I really like that. But it makes, makes it sleek. It makes it impossible to modify it for left hand carry, which is what I want that for. I want it for left hand carry. Are you saying this is a Euro spec knife? <laughs> well, no, it's a right hand spec knife. So it's so serial killers and psychopaths probably won't be able to carry it. I do like how there's just the two little screws, uh, screws on yeah. the one side. It's a super clean design. Super clean Very design. Very much ProTech. It's yeah. not busy. I like it. It their design language is. The design language is Efficiency. phenomenal. It it's is great. It's very pragmatic. Like this is what does this knife need? It needs it needs three <laughs> screws, a pivot, and it needs to be smooth with a strong lock. Done. And it needs to have the best steel, and it needs to be lightweight with the aluminum handles. I think this is an absolute killer for Protect. I, love I that am he so happy still that uses they did this. A Allen. An Allen key for this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we we've we've had a long long relationship with uh, ProTech before uh, when we were off camera. I was talking about um, when I first started to learn how to machine, I was having some issues and problems and I've had a couple of, um, oh There's no wait, steel. that's a nice touch. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a so great the, place the, to the put it. The steel's on the back of the flipper, nice. So I've had a couple of long conversations with Dave, uh, Dave Wattenberg is who owns ProTech, when I was having problems with machining and I called him and he was so forthright and was like, oh, well, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this wrong, you should try this. Why are you doing that? And I was like, well, because we're a small operation, I don't have a lot of money, so that's why I'm doing it this way. And, <laughs> but he was, I mean, he, he like I said, without, without him and, and, and Rob Criswell, I don't even know that we would even have machining capabilities. And so I've always had a hell of a lot of respect for ProTech and love their stuff. And I am so happy about this knife and I can't wait to own one. Personally, I like it that much. Should we do